Hi, I'm Amy Oswald, Vision Rehabilitation Specialist with North Dakota Vision Services School for the Blind. Today we're going to do a golden guide on making pancakes and this was a request from the Pennsylvania Bureau of Blindness and Vision Impairment. The first thing is I think it's easier to use an electric frying pan, so I have a rectangle shaped electric frying pan, um, rather than using a round skillet on your stove top. The reason why is I feel like you have a little more control. Um, if you are using an electric frying pan or a skillet on your stove, you wanna make sure that you have one that has higher sides so that you can push against it. It also prevents things from flipping outside of the pan. So I have oiled my pan a little bit. So to make sure that our pan is hot enough, what I'm gonna do is I have some water inside this um, measuring cup and I just flipped a little bit onto the frying pan and you heard it sizzle so I know that it's up to temperature. One thing that you can do to make it easier and less messy when you are making pancakes is to either purchase a pancake batter dispenser or what I do is just a simple squeezable water bottle and you just make sure that the batter is thin enough to get out of the squeezy bottle. So the way I'm gonna show you how to make pancake is what I call the four corner method. So we're going to put pancakes in all four of the corners. Amy points to the four corners of the electric skillet. I'm gonna make them a little smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use, I'm using a third of a cup measuring cup, but you could use a half a cup if you wanted something bigger. Amy holds a bowl full of batter and the one-third measuring cup over the electric skillet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the edge of the pan. Amy taps the one-third measuring cup full of batter on the inside of one corner of the skillet. And I'm going to put the side of the measuring cup towards it so that when I pour, I pour towards me. And I did that in the upper left-hand corner. Now I'm going to do one in the upper right hand corner. So again, I'm going to use my measuring cup to find it and I'm going to pour towards me. Okay, now I'm going to do the lower left hand corner and I'm actually going to pour away from me. Amy taps the measuring cup to check placement and pours the batter into the skillet. And then the lower right hand corner. Again, I'm gonna find that edge and I'm gonna pour away from me. So I didn't actually have much batter in that last one. I could feel it. Amy taps the cup to empty it into the skillet and then scoops more of the batter out of the bowl. Not very thick, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm tapping my measuring cup on the edge so that I have Amy places the bowl of batter onto the countertop. All of the batter out of the inside of the cup. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my lid on my electric frying pan and I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. And the reason why I'm using a lid is because the lid will help solidify the top a little bit better than it would having it just be exposed to open air. Okay, so how you know that your pancakes are done is what I'm going to do is I'm gonna find the edge of my pancake. The skillet now uncovered, Amy holds a wide spatula over the center of the skillet. With my spatula, if I can easily slide my spatula underneath and kind of wiggle it back and forth, then I know that it's safe to flip. Amy holds one pancake on the spatula, preparing to flip it. Next, she will touch the top of the pancake to check for doneness. Okay, and so you see it is still um, kind of moist on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch my edge of my spatula on, again, the upper left-hand corner of my pan, and I'm going to flip it towards me. Okay, so I'm using that edge to kind of bank off of. Okay, and then I flip it. Now how you tell if your pancake is actually done then is you can take your spatula and you can scratch it along the top. 
So now I'm going to flip the one that is in the upper right hand corner. And again, I'm going against the edge of the pan. Amy slides the spatula under the second pancake. I'm gonna use that edge of the pan as my guide and I'm gonna flip it, okay? In the bottom left hand corner, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna slide my spatula underneath my pancake, use the edge to bank off of, and I'm gonna flip it away from me, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing in my lower right hand side. I'm going to use the edge to bank off of and flip away from me. All four pancakes, one in each corner, have now been flipped. The top of each pancake is a golden brown and they are now cooking on the second side. All right and I can scratch the top of these and know that they're all done because you can hear my spatula scratching against it. Now to make sure that the second side is done, I'll know that my pancake is done if my spatula slides nicely underneath the pancake. I'm gonna use the edge of my pan to bank off of and flip it towards me. And I'm gonna scratch the edge of my spatula to it and listen to the noise that it makes. The pancake that Amy just flipped is golden brown and done. Now I'm going to show you how to make pancakes in um, a pizza maker. So this is the Betty Crocker Pizza Maker Plus. Amy closes the lid on the red, round Betty Crocker Pizza Maker. Um, this one is the more expensive model because it does have variable heat. Um, it has a low, medium, and high. Amy gestures to the heat control located at the top of the cover of the pizza maker and then lifts the cover. And the nice thing about this is it will cook your pancake, it will cook your eggs, things like that from the bottom and the top um, at the same time. So again, to tell if my pan is up to heat, I'm gonna take a little water. Amy wets her fingertips by placing them in a measuring cup of water. Flick it on there, it's all good. This is a round device and so it does not um, have the edges for me to bank against quite as easy. Amy has scooped her one-third measuring cup into a bowl of batter and lifts it over the heated surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I would put one at 12 o'clock, one at 3 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 9 o'clock. Amy pours so again, the batter out of the measuring cup at the 3 o'clock position. I'm using the edge or the rim as my guide and then I'm pouring towards the middle. I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna close it and wait a couple minutes. So the pancake on this Pizza Maker Plus. The lid is now open and Amy slides a wide spatula underneath the cooking pancake. What you can do is to tell if it's done is see if your pancake slides around easily. Um, at three o'clock it is kind of a weird way of of working against the edge. So what I'm gonna do is slide it more towards 12. I'm gonna use the edge of my pizza maker to bank off of. I'm gonna flip it towards me, scratch my spatula along the top, and I know it's done. I'll flip this over again really quick so you can see it. Amy touches but the top of the pancake to you, check for doneness. If you were able to feel it, you would be able to feel that it has solidified on the top because there is that hot element on the top of this as well. If you have any questions about this or if there's other videos that you'd like to see, you can contact me at North Dakota Vision Services, 701-857-7635 or my email address, a Bruner a b r u n n e r at nd.gov.